Taurus, welcome to your love connection reading for the first half of October. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new, welcome. If you're returning, thank you so much for coming back. Please check the description box below for any and all information that you need about me, personal readings, decks I'm using, social media, past playlists, tons of stuff there. So please do go check that out. Thank you to all my new subscribers. Thank you, thank you for all your support. For helping the channel grow and being a part of that so thank you thank you so much those who have reached out for personal readings love doing this for you guys and those who have blessed me with an energy exchange as in a tip or donation to the channel is very much appreciated so thank you thank you everybody for being a part of this channel and um, helping it to grow and being a part of that so thank you so much okay this is for Taurus love connection reading first half of October so I hope everybody's doing well, going into fall already, if you can believe that. Where's the time going? Hope everybody's doing well. Alrighty. So, Taurus. This can be any kind of love connection or any type of connection that you may think you have with somebody, but they you both have to be aware of the connection, that there's something there. It can't be somebody that you just like and they have no clue who you are. This has to be um, actual some sort of connection and with anybody you have in mind right now. So, I mean, you can be married, you can be dating, you can be committed, living together. Uh, you like each other, but nobody's saying anything, you know, any sort of connection. Or maybe, you know, you were together at one time and now you're separated or something, you know, whatever your connection is with another person here see what we get and hopefully it resonates for you okay Taurus all right so this is a zodiac oracle those returning you know how this work and those that are new whatever we get here uh, the zodiac oracle can always be a sign element planet and we have a planet we have moon so this is cancer and the tarot it's Pisces so I always say cancer or Pisces but it doesn't have to be so this is about um, cycles it's about intuition it's feminine energy it's um a deep knowing it's also about emotions so i don't know we'll see how that plays into your reading you think of the moon there's cycles with the moon so this is all about cycles intuition deep knowing um feminine energy so it's about feelings and emotions Okay, so let's see the moon energy. What's going on? And you know, the moon in tarot always represents uh, like secrets or not knowing everything or not seeing everything clearly because you can't see clearly with just the moonlight. So, I mean, that can also be the energy also. All right, so first thing I'll do here for you Taurus is get an overall love connection energy. So what is the overall love connection energy between Taurus and whoever they're thinking of at this time? I just want one card. What is the overall love connection energy between Taurus and their person at this time? Spirit, please, and this one's sticking out to me. Oh, we have detach here, which is 11 which I believe this is, I think this is death, I'm pretty sure. So let me just get my little book here. This deck is a little bit different. It is a tarot deck, but I like to use it as an oracle deck since it's a little bit different than um, traditional tarot. So I do believe number 11 is the death card. Cards. So let's see. Oh, it's justice. Okay. Hmm. So justice. So this is a justice card here. So this is Libra energy. So this could be, you know, just balancing out the scales. It could be clear communication, um, getting justice, you know, in the situation you know, peace and harmony sort of justice, or this could be actual um, something in the justice system. So I don't know, we'll see as we go here. 
This could be about cycles closing for you in a certain relationship. I, I don't know. We'll, we'll see as the tarot goes here. Um, all right, so let's get, yeah, for your energy here, and then one for your person's energy. You have moving on here. You have the Eight of Cups moving on. That's leaving a situation that's no longer serving you. Moving on to something else, just moving on in general. So let's get one for your person. How is Taurus's person feeling about them in this connection at this time? So they have strengthening bonds, which is here the Ace of Wands. So this is a very passionate, fiery energy. Huh. But you have moving on. So, you know, and I didn't really ask when I uh, fully asked what I wanted before that card fell out. So I just want to see if we get something different. That just could be maybe a separate message for some of you. So how, I want to fully ask, how is Taurus feeling about this person, about this connection? Spirit, please, what are they actually feeling about this connection and about this person? Spirit, please, thank you so much. Manifest. Okay, so I feel like this may be for some of you, maybe moving on, moving away from a situation. That's why we have justice here. Some of you may actually be leaving a situation, but we have for you here, Taurus is manifest. So this is manifesting a brand new beginning. So you want to manifest a brand new beginning with this person, and they want to strengthen, strengthen bonds with you. So now I feel like this may be a new cycle starting between the two of you, if you were just dating before or uh, whatever here. And that could be justice here is getting the justice in this connection where once it was maybe just dating, wasn't exclusive. Now it's bringing in that justice of making it maybe exclusive because we have one, one here and then we have one, one there. So, wow. So you have the major arcana of manifest, which is, um, the Magician, which is Gemini Virgo energy. This is Fire energy, Leo Sagittarius. So, I mean, it could be any sign here. We got Libra there, Cancer or Pisces there. But on the bottom of the deck, wow, we have the Six of... I believe this is the Six of... Um, this deck is a little bit different. So, I thought this was the Ace of Wands. But it may be the Ace of pentacles so let me look that up sorry about that this deck is a little different so uh let's see yeah i think that's the ace of pentacles yeah pentacles sorry about that so actually, but this is still a new beginning. This is a, yeah, strengthening bonds. They want they want to build for the long term here. This is uh, stability, growth, expansion, um, building for the long term here, a solid foundation. And so this is the six of wands. So this is success and victory moving forward. So, yep. Wow, so definitely wanting um, justice in this connection of having it more stable and grounded, manifesting a brand new beginning, a whole new cycle between the two of you, either, you know, just now exclusively dating, getting to know each other better, um, or committing to one another, living together, could be anything here. All right, so Taurus, let's clarify for you, Taurus. Let's get one for manifest, one for strengthening bonds. Clarify for Taurus, please, Spirit. Thank you so much. The Page of Swords, your energy there. So let's get one for your person. So the Page of Swords here, that's communication. That's open, honest, truthful communication. Um, it could also be, you know, like doing research, spying on each other. Um, but that's truth and clarity. So you definitely want to communicate to this person how do you want to manifest 
a brand new beginning with this person and be exclusively theirs. That's the message I'm getting. Wow. So let's get one for your person with strengthening bonds here. The high priestess. <laughs> wow. So this is Cancer Pisces again. So they definitely could be a Cancer Pisces. So this is following their intuition, their higher knowing, their gut feeling, um, listening to that energy. So they may not be telling you because the high priestess here sometimes doesn't always speak much. She doesn't tell her secrets. So they may be keeping it secret how much they really want to uh, build this long term. You know, maybe they get an idea here that maybe you want to be a little more exclusive with them, but maybe they want more than that. They want like long term forever, but they're not telling you that. They're kind of keeping it to themselves here with the um, high priestess. So, wow. All right, so let's get let's get some clarity now on the page of swords for you. The page of swords, clarity with the page of swords. The fool. <laughs> wow. So ready to take a leap of faith here. Jump right in. Aquarius energy here. Doesn't have to be. So trusting everything will be fine. The sun behind you. Happiness, joy, success, victory. Leaping in. Jumping right in. And ready to take a leap of faith with this person. And manifest this new beginning. And you're ready like to like really, really rush in here with your truth and clarity. And say, look, I want to manifest this whole new brand beginning, brand new beginning. I'm ready to take this leap of faith and speaking with truth and clarity here. Wow. So let's get one for your person, one for your person. Taurus, one for your person. Why is the high priestess here? The six of swords energy. And this looks a lot like, even though this is the six of wands, you know, there's a boat there, but look at the Six of Swords is a boat too. So, wow. So they're wanting to move forward with you. This is leaving everything behind and just moving forward with you to a better place. Peace, happiness, joy, calmness, just ready to get in that boat and just move forward and sail on with you here. Wow. Wow. So you both look like you kind of want the same thing here, but maybe nobody's really saying anything yet. And that's what needs to be served here with justice is the scales to be balanced, truths to be told. Start this whole new cycle between the two of you. So let's see what the actual situation is now. <laughs> Can't make it up. Justice again. Wow. Yep. You definitely want justice here in this connection. You want this whole new cycle with this person. You want truth, clarity. You want, you know, equal give and take. You want balance in this relationship. Wow. Truth, truth, clarity, communication. They want that too, but they're not saying anything. Maybe they don't think that you want to be exclusive long term. Now we... Ugh. Both want the same thing, and here I just said the same thing. This is, again, like the minor of the justice. So this is like justice three times of equal give and take, equal reciprocity in this connection. Earth energy here. Wow. Wow, Taurus. All right, so let's get one more, one more in your actual situation. Yeah, scales need to be balanced here. Truth, clarity needs to be told between the two of you. <laughs> <laughs> the Queen of Swords. As I was saying that, holy crap. Here's the Queen of Swords. This is like divine energy to me, always when I get the Queen of Swords with the Sword of Truth and Clarity. Wow, Queen of Swords, air energy, speaking up, speaking truths, cutting away things not serving, standing up for yourself, not taking any BS, standing up for one another here. The Sword of Truth and Clarity. So the actual situation is you both want equal reciprocity between the two of you with the pentacles on long term. And you definitely want to speak your truths and bring justice into the situation. Tell them how you feel and how you what you want moving forward, taking this leap of faith. And they're wanting that also. 
Look at look at these two. They're both on your each of your ends are like the same energy. Wow. And with the same energy, like right in the middle. Wow. Wow. Okay, so we have six. We have two sixes now. Six is a very um, healing, balancing numbers. So let's see. Let's get more clarity. That's two. <laughs> now we got the six of cups. Wow. Okay, I guess I'll take them all. So now we have the six of cups. That's three sixes here. Wow. This is very heal, healing, balancing kind of energy. Six of cups, soulmate energy, water energy here. Could have had past lives together, reminiscing memories. Maybe you've known them since childhood or high school or your first job or something. Something from many years ago or something like that. Or you've just known them for a very long time. Or you've wanted this with them for a very long time. Maybe since you were kids. And then you have the Wheel of Fortune here. So this is Sag energy. So this is fate, destiny, divine timing. Things going in your favor. Better luck here. So this is divine energy here. Bringing in divine timing. Something that's meant to be. And that's right with the Six of Swords. So, you know, divine timing, the wheels in motion, and then the motion of moving forward together in this sailing on to a better place together with the Wheel of Fortune. Wow. <laughs> and then you have the Ace of Pentacles. So it's a brand new beginning. Stable, secure, grounded, building for the long term. This sometimes can also represent maybe a proposal of some kind. This is like the minor of the sun for happiness, joy, success, growth, expansion, building long, long term on a solid foundation. Wow. So, wow. All right, so Taurus, I see, holy crap, a lot of good energy here. And I didn't know when that Libra, when that just first justice came out, I'm like, Ugh. sometimes that can mean divorce or something like that. And when that walking out first fell out, I'm like, oh no, you know, the walking away. But I, I didn't feel comfortable taking that. So let's see what your advice is, strength, wow. Leo energy and the four of swords. So here's strength. So this, you see the infinity symbol here over her head. So, you know, you might have had uh, lifetimes with this person being together for infinity here. Very strong bond, strength, courage, determination, willpower, taming the beast from within. So this is advice here is telling you to be strong, stable, grounded here. But then you have the four of swords. So this is about like retreating, recoup recuperating, taking a respite, resting, healing, thinking, contemplating. I don't know what you're thinking and contemplating about. If you're worried about this connection, if you're worried about this connection and you're thinking and you're thinking, you're not sure here, it's a very strong connection and bond here. That's what I think that means here. All right, so you don't have to worry about that. And you see the angel here above you trying to tell you this is a divine connection here. It's a very strong bond, soulmate energy. So, <laughs> yep, you don't have to worry because here's your Ten of Pentacles. That's your energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. This is the legacy of the happy home and family from the grandparents to the grandchildren, the pets, you know, being stable, secure, grounded, uh, financially set. Every, you know, two people coming together and making a legacy together. Wow, that's your advice is not to worry. It's a very strong bond. You will have this legacy together for a lifetime. And it's going to start here with an offer, communication, passionate communication, some kind of offer coming in, as you see here. As I had said, with the Ace of Pentacles, is sort of like an offer, engagement, something like that. And here's the passionate offer and the tangible offer in hand. So, however that resonates for you. If it's just committing on some sort of level, some of you could be getting engaged, but it has to start with a passionate 
offer of some kind, either from you or them, whether this is your advice. So maybe you need to extend out the offer. Or you could flip flop the energies, you know, maybe you're waiting for the offer to come in. You know, you know how strong this bond is and you're worried about it, but it's here to say that it is this strong bond. If you're waiting for that to come in, it will because you, you have the Ten of Pentacles here. So let's see what the possible outcome. The Three of Pentacles. So working together here, building, growing for the future, building your foundation, collaboration, teamwork, working together, working well together, learning, growing. All right, so what else? What else for the outcome here? The Taurus. The Ace of Wands. So now we have another new beginning. In the Ace of Swords. Holy crap. You have the Ace of Pentacles. Oh my God, Taurus. You have the Ace of Pentacles. The Ace of Wands. The Ace of Swords. You have three Aces here. Three Aces. Wands. The Passion. Excitement. Moving forward, stability, growth, expansion with the pentacle and the sword with truth, clarity, success, and victory. Wow. So, <laughs> possible outcome here, working together, having a brand new beginning based on truth, clarity, open, honest communication, passion, excitement, moving forward. Wow. In this new endeavor between the two of you. Three aces on the board. Holy crap. Taurus, bottom of the deck, queen of pentacles. There's your energy, king or queen. Stable, grounded energy, growth, expansion. Five of pentacles. So this is abandonment, feeling left out in the cold, neglected for some reason. I don't know why that's here. But you have the nine of cups for wish fulfillment. So, you know, if there was a little bit of this energy in the past, I don't think you have to worry about that because you did have the four of swords. So maybe... You're thinking, you know, well, what if they reject me and then I'm abandoned and left out in the cold? But you will have wish come true here with the Nine Cups. Happiness, joy, and wishes and dreams coming true. Options here with the Seven of Cups. Daydreamy, options, uh, confusion. And the Seven of Pentacles, which is patiently waiting. So maybe, you know, you, there's a period here of patiently waiting for them to decide what they want to do here. The Seven of Cups energy. But ultimately, Ace of Cups now. Holy crap. Ace of Pentacles. You have all four aces. Divinely guided energy here with the Ace of Cups. Soulmate energy. Love and emotions are overflowing. Divinely guided. Divinely handed to you. Cup of love. Peace and harmony between the two of you and they will speak up speak their truths because now you have the king and queen of swords we did have the queen of swords um over here so now we have divine counterparts that match definite soulmate energy here they will make the judgment call they will speak their truths they will speak their truths they want this brand new cup of love they want to give you their cup of love Speaking their truths here. You know, you might have been waiting for a minute here for them to decide, but they will. Your wishes and dreams will come true. No more of this feeling neglected here. And this is your energy. They will choose you. Wow. A lot of energy here. Four. I got to take out that Ace of Cups and put it on the table because that's four freaking aces for you. Um, Taurus. Holy crap. All right. I might tell you this. Holy crap, four aces. <laughs> wow. Okay. Taurus. Taurus, Taurus. What else do we have for Taurus with the romance angels? Okay. Worth waiting for. So again, I had said you might have had to wait for a minute for this person, for them to decide what they wanted. Is the high priestess there not saying anything? Divine timing, and I had said that with the Wheel of Fortune, is at work in your love life. Worth This person is worth waiting for. 
deception. So again, they weren't really telling you how they were feeling with the um, high priestess energy there. Someone is wearing a false self mask in this relationship because they weren't really telling you anything with the high priestess energy there for a minute or two. So you were unsure. All right. Anything else? Wow. Holy crap. Codependency addictions are affecting your romantic life. I don't know if that means anything for anybody, but that did just come out. And then we have finances and career. Financial issues are a factor in your love life right now, if that means anything for anybody. And then we have honeymoon. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time Holiday time together. Doesn't mean actual honeymoon. It could just mean getting away together, vacation, just spending some time alone. Let's see what's on the bottom. Well, we have let go of control issues. Allow the situation to unfold naturally. So that may be a message for some of you. Under that, we have flirt. And then soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. Then we did have release your ex. It's, this time has come to Clary Energy. So maybe somebody had to release an ex here. But flirt. Flirt with one another here. Let go of control issues if anyone's trying to control it. Because yes, this is your soulmate and there will be reconciliation. So someone from your past is returning into your life. So there was a time apart here. And then we have true love. This is a romance of a lifetime. So I could keep going, but I'm going to stop there. True love soulmates. Wow. And that energy is all here for you, Taurus. Big energy. Wow, Taurus. All right. So if this didn't resonate for you, you can check the description box below um, for past playlists. Maybe something there will resonate for you. I would say disregard the dates on them. I do consider them all timeless. Good luck to you here in your soulmate four freaking aces, <laughs> Taurus. Holy crap. Good luck to you. Sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channel, is to always, always shine your light.